Hey YouTube, how you doing? I just wanted to uh, uh, put this uh, video together real quick and um, to discuss a few things that uh, I, I was going over some other stuff earlier today and then I kind of ran into this. This was kind of interesting to me. So why don't we uh, take a look uh, at this and because the internet is acting stupid I'm gonna go ahead and just take a picture and uh, prevent it from being the little prick that it's being I'm sorry for my language but I'm kind of kind of getting on my nerves so we're gonna take a picture of that and then we'll take a picture of this other thing over here and then we'll just compare the two okay you know I'm supposed to be recording but it kind of uh, it was acting stupid and as you can see, it doesn't want to move. I'm actually telling it to move, and it doesn't want to move. It's being a little prick. Because it knows that I'm the Satanist, and it knows I'm coming in on him again. Okay. It's acting, it's acting stupid again. Let's take a picture of that real quick. Now, we can just get off the internet. And we can go over here to this other deal. And uh, provided that it opens because it's acting silly. Let me go ahead and just, uh, just get off the internet because that seems to be the problem. It just seems to be that this thing is acting like a serious little prick. There you go. Now it doesn't even want to show. Giving me all kind of problems. <sighs> okay. All right. Here we go. Let's just pick one law and read it. You shall not steal. Period. Pretty basic, pretty clean, pretty straightforward. That's God's law. Now let's pick the devil law. Because that's what, that's what this stuff is. Codes and UCCs and all that junk is devil law. That's what it is. Let's try to read it, what it says and see if we can understand what the heck they're trying to tell us here. We're going to read security interest. Security interest means an interest in a personal property or fixtures which secures payment or performance of an obligation. Security interest includes any interest of a co-signer and a buyer of accounts, chattel paper, a payment intangible, or promissory note in a transaction that is subject to Article 9. I don't even know what the hell that means. I think you have to look up every word to figure out what it is they're telling you. And then later on it says... Under Section 2-505, the right of the seller or lessor of goods under Article 2 or 2A to attain, acquire, possession, blah, 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 blah. So now they're, they're directing you, they're directing you to two, Section 2-505, two they're directing you to Section 2-401, and they're pursuant to Section 1-203. So now you got to look up all that junk to try to figure out what the hell they're telling you. Tell me that's not the devil. That liberally confuses stuff. So that you run to his devil lawyer that's going to make you turn your energy into IOUs because it's not even real money. And then you got to give him 5,000 of them or whatever the, the, they're trying to extract from you while he's throwing you under the bus. Because he's not going to he's not gonna help you. Devil law, God's law. Pick one. Because you're gonna, you're gonna, you're under one of them, whether you like it or not. Whether you like it or not, you're gonna follow one of these sources of laws. Everything is based off off of God's law, though. The devil law is based off of God's law, believe it or not. Actually, it it isn't. I mean, they're doing whatever they want. They're not supposed to break God's law, but they're doing it. And because you agree to to you agree to their crap of being obligors, and you you agree to being a person and obligor. The defendant, uh, all these words, because they're using that word of art crap. Instead of being a man, M-A-N, man. 
All men are created equal. Doesn't say all obligors, all defendants, all taxpayers, all U.S. citizens, all. Doesn't say that. You're agreeing to be all these different entities so that they can run off with your rights and just trample all over you. And, and you, you can't say nothing and it's your own fault because you're not reading this book over here. One last thing, see if I can get this to work because this thing's acting acting up. Okay, I turned off the internet, so I know it's not gonna work. Um so all of these issues that we're going through is our own fault. Basically. Um I'm gonna go to this one right here. If it actually loads it. It's on, but it's just acting stupid. There we go. I'm just going to cover this one shortly. Uh, this is a different one. Oh, here it is right here. Open that document up. Religious Objections to Global ID. What is the relationship between the global system of financial control being built today and biblical prophecy? And he causes all, the small and the great, meaning the poor and the politician, the rich and the poor, means the politician and the poor, or the Illuminati and us, the free man, the free men, which is Illuminati, politicians, all this, the satanic scum that is that is helping all the elites and all the, the satanic dudes, and the slaves, which is the U.S. citizen, the defendant, the taxpayer, the obligor, the, the person, the natural person, all those dudes are the slaves, which is everybody's agreeing to be through all these documents and papers that they give you, all the applications, to be given a mark on their right hand or on their forehead. And he provides that no one should be able to buy or sell, which is social security number, can't have that name and number, you ain't buying nothing, you ain't doing nothing, except the one who has the mark, either the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom, let him who ha has understanding calculate the number of the beast for that number is that of a man, and his number is 666, 666. So that's what all the hand gestures are. That's what all that, that Illuminati gazy looking in the triangle stuff is, and Beyonce and all the, the demonic, all that stuff that's going on with those dudes. It's real plain and simple. Over here, if I can get this thing to move, because it's acting up. They've had this Real ID stuff since 2005. In 2005, the Real ID Act became U.S. law. Public outrage over the Real ID has prevented its official implementation. But it's already in all the driver's license, and you're not even a driver, because a driver is a commercial. A driver is a taxi, a taxi cab, a bus driver, a delivery driver, a limo driver. That's what a driver is. You're not a driver. You going from your house to go get the groceries at the store and coming home, that doesn't make you a driver. You didn't make no money on that trip. You went in a personal conveyance, which is a separate issue. But because you're not paying attention to what they're doing over here, because you're worried about all these stars and all the Illuminati and all these movies and all these gay Z concerts and all that junk over there, they're running off with everything over here and on the other doors l laughing. Because you agree to be their slaves. You guys need to start giving up that name and number now because if you don't, learn how to suffer. Because it's coming, whether you like it or not, it's coming. I mean, you can try to, here it says right here. If anyone worships the beast and his image and receives a mark on his forehead or upon his hand, he will also drink of the wine of the wrath of God. 
I don't know about you, man, but drinking of the wine of the wrath of God doesn't sound like it's good. <laughs> I mean, you're talking about the creator of the universe. I mean, I don't know about you, but that that is not good. But, hey, to each his own. I'm just here to give heads up that, and we see all those cameras, too. When you go out in public and, and you see them streetlights, they got all those cameras, all that junk, too. So it's not like I'm making this up. Anyway, this is going to wrap it up for this segment. So I just wanted to cover these couple things real quick. And uh, may God bless y'all. And I'll be praying for everybody like I always do. This is Real Talk. And I'll catch up with you guys next time.